Right, nearly all of us want harmful content taken off social media. We know it's there. Almost half of all teenagers have seen something harmful on social media in the last month or so. The problem is none of us are doing anything about it. The Chartered Institute of Marketing says two-thirds, about 62% of children, say they rarely or never report uh, harmful posts. Only 7% say they always do. Now, this is important for business as well because it gives social media a bad reputation, it lessens its appearance, as a marketing tool, you know, who wants their brand to appear unwittingly next to disturbing images. Now we're joined by Lee Hopwood, who's chair of uh, Chartered Institute of Marketing, who's been researching this matter. Uh, Lee, uh, let's just get the, the basic facts right. What, are, what do we mean when we talk about harmful images? Uh, well, really, harmful images are uh, anything from uh, anything that might be sexually related or terrorist related, but it's not just harmful images, it's harmful video content, it's bullying, it's abuse. There's uh, lots of uh, ways that harmful content is being uh, uh, displayed on social media when it shouldn't be. OK, so why don't people report this? Why, why is such a large number of teenagers see it, they know they don't like it, but they don't do anything about it? Well, I think there's a number of things. To be honest, I don't think the social media companies make it easy to report harmful content and I think they could make it a lot easier by making those report buttons, one, available and two, much more accessible. But I also think, and one of the reasons why I'm here today, is because we need to make it much more aware to the public that we should be reporting content. I think there is a, the government needs to do a public awareness campaign to make sure that we as, as individuals, as parents, are reporting that content and that we are, are let, making sure that our children are reporting that content. Children are less likely to report content than adults. So the government uh, has, has now said that if people complain about something then that the, the, the social media companies have to take it down. But you're saying that's simply not going to work if we don't go do that first process of, of reporting it. Absolutely. So the government is uh, putting forward a proposal to say uh, what the social media companies need to do. However, they need to get their people, their processes, their technologies in place to be able to respond to what could be a huge wave once they start enabling people to report that content far easier. Now, surely there's a business, the, the business angle here is important because surely a social media company wants to attract advertising, wants to get its advertisers there. But if it has a reputation of doing nothing about uh, harmful images, those advertisers are going to be scared away. So it's got a real incentive. The social media companies have a real incentive of keeping the place clean, as it were. Absolutely. I mean, uh, so why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? Well, I, I think the, um, the, the social media companies are obviously focused on their, their revenues. They want to see their revenues. I think there is uh, such an increase and quite a rapid increase in the number of people that are starting to disengage with social media. And I think that the danger is that if social media companies don't embrace what's inevitable, then, uh, then, then they'll end up disengaging their, peop their, their users. And if their, their users aren't there, then the, the companies that are spending money, 52 billion pounds a year on social media, those companies will, will simply start looking at how they can spend their money elsewhere to engage with their customers. Okay, Lee. Uh, very good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed, Lee. Hopefully Thank you that. very much.